Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very, very interesting physique updates. We are starting with Derek Lansford. At two weeks out of Pittsburgh Pro guest posing, we got basically a full physique update, so let's check it out. Front lat spread. I mean, as you can see, he is holding pretty good conditioning, very good conditioning for the offseason. Uh, he's managing to pull a vacuum, I'm gonna see in a second. So he's probably not force-feeding too much, not trying to grow and get super massive like he did last year. Look at the vacuum, very deep, very good for the off-season. So he's not, obviously, he's not trying to force as much muscle as possible on his frame. And honestly, I was expecting him to grow much more this year, but apparently he's not really doing that. And now when I think about it, it actually makes a lot of sense because... He was already basically big enough at the Mr. Olympia. At this point, for him, it's very important to maintain lines, to keep the waist as small as possible, to not blow out his midsection, to make small improvements, details on his physique, and come in as conditioned as possible, and that's probably the best thing he can do. Now, what I am worried about is his legs. As you can see, they are not exactly his strongest body part, and he wasn't exactly super conditioned at a Mr. Olympia, so if he diets down this time around all the way to get those lines and serrations in his chest and shoulders and quads, how big will his legs be at the end? And that's what I worry about. And based on what I'm seeing right here, it doesn't look like he grew too much. Now look at this most muscular, it's looking very good under this crazy lighting with a crazy pump. But if he wants to keep the title, he needs to hold Hari Chopin back. Is he gonna be able to do that if he doesn't improve muscularity-wise? I don't know. I really don't know. In two weeks from now, we're gonna see this guy on the stage, next to some of the heaviest hitters in the world right now, like Hunter Labrada, and most importantly, Nick Walker. So we're gonna see Derek Lansford compared to Nick Walker, and once again, Derek is in very good shape. Maybe he's even dieting a little bit for this guest posing. Maybe he's preparing for it. Maybe he's gonna get even leaner and harder. I mean, his conditioning is great right now. He is holding some fat or water, whatever it is, in his lower back. So his back poses are not looking as impressive as they do when he is shredded. And at two weeks out of Pittsburgh Pro, Nick Walker is gonna be one week out of New York Pro. So take a look at his back double bicep. It's definitely not nearly as good as it looked when he was shredded. Nor it should look like that, of course, he's in his offseason, but I think Nick Walker is probably gonna look much, much superior to Derek Lansford at a Pittsburgh Pro guest posing. And honestly, I feel like Derek is probably gonna do something, some sort of a peak week, because it's important. You have guys like Big Ramy for Mr. Olympia, you have Nick Walker, who is knocking at the door, we have Andrew Jack, Hunter Labrada, so Derek, even though it's not a competition, he needs to look very good, because those photos are what everybody is gonna talk about during the entire prep for the Mr. Olympia. Everybody's gonna compare Derek Lansford to everybody else because he's the Mr. Olympia and Nick Walker is the closest guy to him. And uh, Nick actually can win the Mr. Olympia. He can beat Derek Lansford in any given day, if you ask me. So I don't think Derek can afford to be smoked by Nick Walker at that show, even though it's just a guest posing. I think it is a lot more than just a guest posing. Once again, the way he's looking right now, he's deep into his offseason, he is not pushing like his foot and stuff, because you can see he's still in a very good shape, not contest ready, but not far off, not far from that. And again, there is two more weeks, so I think he's gonna dry out a little bit more, and actually look very good, probably the best on that stage, because usually in his offseason, Derek looks really, really good, mainly because his legs are really big in the offseason. When he diets down for some reason, he loses his legs. In the offseason, they are proportionate to his upper body, and everything is equally as conditioned. You know, When he gets shredded, he either loses the legs or he keeps the legs but doesn't get completely conditioned. Last year, that was enough against Hardy because Hardy wasn't exactly on. If we look at the 2024 Arnold Classic version as Hardy being on, so I can expect Hari to look much, much better than he was the Mr. Olympia last year. And as far as Derek, based on what I'm seeing, you know, he looks amazing, don't get me wrong. He looks like uh, Mr. Olympia for sure. He looks very presentable even now. He looks big, no doubt. But did he make a ton of progress muscularity-wise in this offseason? 
I'm not exactly seeing that right now. So, can the same Derek Lansford from the Mr. Olympia 2023 beat the new Hadi from the Arnold Classic? Or, let's say, 5% improved Derek Lansford? I don't think so, especially not with Nick Walker and Samson Dauda knocking at the door. If Derek wants to secure it, he needs to make solid progress like the other guys are doing. Do I see that happening right now? Personally, I don't. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, we also got a new physique update from Nick Walker, another one, and this time around it's from the back, and the caption says, it wasn't back day, this is not his back when it's pumped, this is just his back, I don't know what he trained, but obviously he didn't train his back, and it is looking freaking huge right now, as you can see the glutes and the hamstrings conditioning is coming along, he's very lean right now, but the back... The back is turning out to be one of his strongest body parts. I mean, this back is totally comparable to Derek Lansford's back. Yeah, maybe Derek has a better flow, like a smaller waist and maybe like deeper separation in the back and like maybe more separated glutes as well. But size-wise, completeness-wise, width and all that stuff. I mean, with those biceps especially here, as you can see, and shoulders also separated. I think this back double bicep is... I mean, turning out to be one of the Knicks' best poses, and also potentially better, or at least comparable to Derek Lansford's. And I do not think that the same can be said about Samson Dauda and Hari Japan. I don't think those two guys have the potential to have a back like this, or like Derek's. Recently, Nick posted his uh, back last spread shot, which was never his strongest point, but it seemed improved, it seemed better. And now we can see the back double bicep, and it also looks significantly improved much much bigger whatever he was doing this off season it worked or this prep actually i was watching his youtube videos and i saw the way he's training like it's with so much focus such a crazy connection you know he lifts very very controlled not with a lot of weight but like he really uses the muscle and you can learn a lot from just watching him train and as you can see the results are happening the back is looking so much better here is a very interesting comparison between his 2023 version, three weeks before the Mr. Olympia, before his hamstring tear, and right now. And I think he added a lot of muscle basically everywhere. I mean, not just the back, starting with the legs. Like, look at the look at the outer sweep and the, and the hamstrings and the glutes. I think he added more tissue to that area as well. And then the back, it definitely does look bigger. It most certainly does look thicker. It's just insane how fast this guy is progressing. I feel like the 2024 New York Pro version of Nick Walker is going to be something crazy, like a next level thing. Here we can see a little comparison between Derek Lansford and Nick Walker. And yeah, sure, Derek here is deep into his offseason and the back itself looks much better when it is shredded. And Nick is again three weeks out. I mean, the conditioning difference isn't really that much. I mean, it's it's bigger, it's definitely big, but it's not like Derek got sloppy in his offseason. He's very lean. He, he's, he's controlling things very well, but yeah, he's not shredded, he's not super dry, and that's why his back is not going to look its absolute best, but we can see the size difference, basically. You can see the lats and the traps, the rhomboids, and everything, really, the shoulders and the arms... You can see the difference, it's not a big difference, I mean, Nick is actually, in this comparison right here, Nick is definitely looking better, his back is looking better, on the stage, it's not gonna be the case, Derek has an amazing back, one of the best of all time, this is just the way it looks when he's in off-season, it's gonna look 10 times better once it actually gets lean, but the point I'm trying to make is, Nick is actually matching Derek now, in terms of uh, development, muscular development, We'll see how conditioned can Nick get, how much better is going to look then or worse, we don't know. But yes, right now Nick is definitely one of the top guys, one of the most hungry guys. He wants that title and if Derek is not pushing it 100%, Nick is one of those guys who might take it. Lastly, we also got a new posing video of Rubial Mosquera going through all the mandatory poses. I think he changed something about that front double bicep. Let's check it again, so he definitely changed something about hitting it, I think he's opening up his lats more now, and his arms are lifted up a little bit higher, maybe if he did something asymmetrical with his legs, it would look even better, but it's actually looking pretty good, 
I mean, this guy has crazy genetics. He can definitely make improvements before the Dubai Pro. But as far as conditioning right now, it's actually looking very good. Dubai Pro is in like June, so he has enough time to get shredded. Uh, back also looks pretty decent. Like, it's not a weak back for sure. It's a little bit oddly shaped, and with his neck, it's not looking super aesthetic maybe, but, you know, size-wise, it's actually very good. It could be better, but it's pretty good. Uh, control of the midsection is there, for sure. <laughs> Legs are looking ridiculous. Nexilla is looking great right now, and he has enough time until Dubai Pro to get super shredded, super jacked, and potentially even a win. Beat Andrew Jacked with all this crazy mass, which I think is very, very important, and it's not usually something you see in open bodybuilding. A lot of guys are trying to look as aesthetic as possible, as conditioned as possible, and not a lot of them are trying to get as huge as possible. And this is bodybuilding, however. So maybe things will switch at a Dubai Pro. Maybe Nexilla is going to beat Andrew Jack and win. I wouldn't be having any complaints as long as he's conditioned enough. What do you think? Tell me down below in the comment section. What do you think? Can this guy beat Andrew Jack? What do you think about Nick Walker right now and Nick Walker against Derek Lansford? Whatever you think, guys, leave the comment down below. Tell me what do you think. Like the video if you enjoyed it, of course. And for more stuff like this, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. All the best and bye-bye.